Fellow veterinarians, you wasted so much time in anatomy lab, and we don't have to inflict that on the next generation of veterinarians. I teach surgery to veterinarians and veterinary students. One of my mentors told me as she was helping me through my first limb amputation, you can name it and cut it, or you can just cut it. And I think about that every day. We need confident veterinary surgeons. There are only so many hours of training in veterinary school and memorizing thousands of names of body parts on healthy animals who were killed for the purpose of that lab is not necessary. We can learn body parts on animals who died or were euthanized for medical reasons. We can learn anatomy in the context of a case or procedure on a patient who needs it. Human medical schools don't kill animals in their training. Why do veterinary schools? We obtained public records from Texas A&M College of Veterinary Medicine. Texas A&M students have a mandatory rotation through the Houston SBCA where they can practice spays and neuters, and that's great. What's not great is their VMID 935301 Surgery 1 class. In the protocol we received for this class, 162 goats or sheep are purchased and then used in terminal teaching exercises. So these animals are killed to teach veterinary students surgical techniques. The instructors justify the protocol by stating that hemostasis techniques cannot be learned in simulators, models, or cadavers. Although research has shown these are effective methods of teaching hemostasis. This is not a justification for doing terminal surgeries. Most other schools successfully teach students castration and ovarian hysterectomy as survival surgeries on shelter animals without requiring terminal surgeries as practice. I never had to practice on animals who were purposefully killed for my training and neither should other veterinary students. Texas A&M isn't the only veterinary school doing these types of labs. Check out our paper published in the Journal of Veterinary Medical Education to see what other schools are doing. We need more confident veterinary surgeons, but confidence does not come from killing healthy animals and being denied the opportunity to see your patient recover. We create confident surgeons by having them practice on models, then practicing parts of procedures on animals who need it under the guidance of experienced veterinarians before completing an entire procedure themselves. Healthy animals do not need to be killed. Whether you are a veterinarian or not, join our campaign to create more confident veterinary surgeons by going to veterinariansunited.org.